Hi, so at the end of video 1486, we'd actually developed this thing. It's a turbine blade for an air turbine. Now, I don't know if you remember, but we began this journey by looking at the Turgo turbine, which is a pulse water turbine. It's a reaction turbine. From that Turgo turbine, we asked ourselves the question, could we make it in spoons, which we then did. We made a spoon version. Then, of course, <laughs> some bright spark suggested that it would perhaps still work in wind. So we built a wind version like that. <laughs> when we found that worked in the wind, we developed it to this. And this is one of the things that I actually love. It's the circularity of stuff, because the very next question you've got to ask yourself is, will this work if we put it back in water, but this time as a, a reaction turbine? Because this reminded me very much of something called the Vortex Generator. It's also called the Whirlpool Generator. It kind of goes by both names. And it's very similar to a Kaplan Generator, a Kaplan Turbine. The Kaplan Turbine is basically an upside down boat propeller. The um, Whirlpool Generator uses this kind of shape, but with a low head and high flow. So, you, like I say, you have to ask yourself, would this work? Now, if we have a look at that, we can see that the um, essential component of a whirlpool generator is not only the blade, but the situation in which it's in. It's got a channel that creates a whirlpool stroke vortex, hits the blades and drops down and is discharged. So, I make this. This is just the bit that we were left over with at the end of video 1486. And I've put an envelope on it of bent aluminium, which is this here. I just took a strip of aluminium, bent it round to this musical note shape, and then glued it to the same wooden board. So the water comes down here, swirls around that envelope and drops down on our turbine blade. And that, in theory, should be a whirlpool stroke vortex generator. Well, let's take it outside and have a look at it with some water pouring through. Okay, so I've set everything up in the way that's becoming usual, really. Here's a turbine, we've got a water supply. Remember, it's working from the flow of water, not from the pressure of the water. So we're just going to pour some water down there, basically. There's the meter, it's reading volts, and I've got my camera on there, and I've got a load right here. So let's get some water in there. Okay, I don't know about you, but I thought that was awesome. I mean, we produced about a volt or so, and it'll be a few milliamps, something around there. Um, so there wasn't a great deal of flow on there. Obviously, if we increase the flow, then we're going to increase the generation because that's got more torque and more speed. But it worked. And so we've come from a water generator to a wind generator and back to a water generator. That's just so cool and shows the links between everything. All of these things are actually strongly related to each other. Anyway, I thought I would share that with you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.